Hey everyone, Sam here again. Um, what I thought I'd do is actually just show you the quick setup procedure that you do get when you do get a HTC phone. Because obviously it's a little bit different than your standard Android affair. So, as you can see here, um, I didn't go past it in my unboxing video. But basically on here, it's got all your different options for your different languages. So obviously naturally I'm going to pick United Kingdom. So basically all you do is click next. Then what it's asking me to do is actually take the back off. So as you can see, it does that tell you what to do. So it's asking me to take the back off, stick the SIM card in and then go from there. So I'm going to skip this process just for now. Then it's going to be like, right, do you want to use mobile data or Wi-Fi? Well, it's going to have to be Wi-Fi because I've not got a SIM card in there just yet. So basically click next again. On here, we've got automatic sync data or manually sync the data. I always choose to um, automatic sync it just because it makes it a lot easier. So now it's saying, right, which network would you like to connect to? I've never seen that one before, Adam's network. So hello, Adam, if you live near me. So we'll connect to my network. So I'm just going to put a password in with two seconds. And so as it is here, yeah, we're just connecting now. So we're connected to my network. So we'll just click next. So now basically it's going to be saying, right, do you want to sign in with my HTC account or create a HTC account? It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. You can skip it if you want to. So what we'll do here is we will skip this process. Again, it's a very straightforward affair. So at HTC, we're continuously. So basically, it's asking, do you want help HTC by sharing some data, you know, no kind of personal data, but just data now and again to them. I don't particularly to click this on my phones, but if you want to, you can do. Google's location services. Yeah, I always do the Google ones just because it makes it a lot easier for when you try to find stuff. Allow Google location to actually collect anonymous data. I don't mind on that one to be honest with you, so I say yes. Do you want Google's use location for improved search? Yes, yes I do. And we've got the Dropbox. So I get 25 gigabytes of Dropbox storage for free for two years. How cool is that? So I already have a Dropbox account. So what I'll do is I'll log into my Dropbox account. I'll be two seconds. Right, so I've logged into my Dropbox account now. So basically what's asking me to do is do you want to save your, save your photos to Dropbox? So your photos can, well, our videos will automatically be uploaded to Dropbox. So we shall, yeah, we'll turn it on. Why not? You can also access your Dropbox content directly in the gallery, Office, Mail, and all that kind of good stuff, which is kind of really cool. It's all integrated in here now. So here we go. We've got setup accounts. So we've got Google, Exchange, Mail, Dropbox, Evernote, HTC Sense, Facebook, Flickr, Microsoft Hotmail. We've got SkyDrive, HTC Sense, Twitter, Twitter, HTC Sense, and Watch. So basically, you can set all these up straight away. So I've got to, let's say, log into my Facebook account. Oh, it's going to ask me to do now is put my Facebook details in. So I want two secs again. I'll be right back. All right, so I've signed to my Facebook account now. So as you can see here, basically it's asking me to want to sync all, sync with existing contacts or don't sync. So we'll just sync with the existing contacts. So basically just click that, go next. And there we go. So now it's just going to log into my, it's just going to show my Facebook details. So just to make you aware that obviously the actual HTC phones, they do come built in with the official Twitter application and the official Facebook application. So what I'll do is we'll just click next on that one. So now what it's gonna ask me is you wanna transfer my stuff from a previous phone. Now unfortunately I'm not gonna do that, so I'm just gonna click next. We're now asking for his time and data. Unfortunately I clicked next on that. Basically set your time up to automatically, do you want it in different formats and all that kind of good stuff. So here we go now. It's got press and hold an empty space to add a widget, drag an app to another create folder and drag your favorite apps to create the customized launch bar. So it's cool that they tell you that straight off the bat. So it's called, do you want to show quick tips? So quick tips, if you have helpful information about your device, by the bar, continue to show quick tips. No, thank you. And that's it, that's the that's the setup of what it looks like when you do set up a HTC One S phone. It's gonna be the same pretty much for all the other phones as well. And as you can see here, there's the actual screen itself. So just to put in there while I'm here, um, that keyboard that I were using, um, obviously you didn't see it much, but I'll show you in a later video the keyboard. Very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice. And hey people, I'm going to get off, um, get, get these uploaded for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers everyone.